Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hello, welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. All right. Today is the Scorpio full moon, April 23rd, 2024. So this is a timeless reading though, whenever you are seeing this, uh, it is meant for you. All right, I just wanted to start off with my beautiful rock I just got in the mail from my beautiful uh, second mama. <laughs> Kathy, thank you very much, Kathy, for sending this to me. Um, it's beautiful, and I think it's perfect because it's on a big round rock, which reminds me of the full moon. And the full moon... <laughs> it's karma. And the full moon is about your heart chakra. So we're going to talk a little bit about that, too. And it has this beautiful heart here um, with red glass and these beads around it made in, made for, um, into a mosaic. And um, I was asking for love and this showed up at my door. So I'm very thankful for this, and thank you, Kathy, once again. I love you. So that's going to be part of our reading today. All right, and so I did mention this is about your heart chakra. So here we have um, some heart chakra cards. Okay. And um, this is directly associated with forgiveness and compassion. Influences thoughts about harmony, power of love, sharing, giving and receiving, growth, balance, hate, anger, and despair. Issues include fear of loneliness, dependency on others, depression of spirit, betrayal, heart disease, and cancer. Affects the thymus heart, blood circulation, and the immune system. And this is your affirmation. I have unconditional love and compassion for myself and others. I release the past and embrace who I really am now. I forgive myself and others and, and am open to see all things differently. My heart is filled with compassion, joy, and forgiveness. I gladly give and receive from the depth of my heart. So, uh, all right. And we do have the, um, the rose quartz today. This is about love. Directly related to your heart chakra. Okay, and we invite Archangel Shem Shemuel in for this reading today um, to help us out with our heart chakra. Okay, this rose quartz um, helps to ensure a healthy flow of fluids in your body can work wonders after a complicated birth. Great for overcoming abusive relationships and working through depression. Okay. So, as I was receiving my beautiful rock, 
I was literally meditating to do this reading and um, asking for true love to come in and take over my life, however that may be. Um, that could be many different aspects of my life. Um, feeling connected with others, um, bringing in a career that I love, um, having more love and abundance in my relationship. And as I was trying to meditate <laughs> um, with dogs barking and um, the male lady coming and saying there was a package, um, so one of my candles went out, didn't stay lit, um, and that is my selenite candle holder, which is supposed to be my clear passage for messages to come through. Um, I'm definitely feeling a little disconnected, right? with how clear I feel uh, about things in my life. Um, there's definitely a very heavy energy going on right now. And with this full moon, I would like to release a lot of that energy. Um, a lot of the confusion, a lot of the depression, a lot of the back and forth in my mind. like to release it and uh, we're gonna release it here together today with this reading um, so anyway <laughs> mine scatter everywhere um, this beautiful rock showed up as I was meditating asking for this love to come into my life and um, it's so weird because things happen in life a lot and um, I'm like, well, is this just a coincidence? Um, but I really do believe that things are divinely guided and things are happening for a reason and there's a reason that things happen, right? So, you know, in a sense, it kind of makes me feel crazy at times, right? Because there's this source that I believe in that I can't really see, but I feel the vibration of all the time and <clears throat> seeing signs and synchronicities that come with that and sometimes it makes me feel like I'm a little crazy and I'm like hmm, you know what are other people gonna think about this right I, I really don't care um, because I feel it in my heart and I feel it in my soul And I'm going to get more spam calls. Um, Jesus. That the sun is coming out. And it literally is coming out. It's getting brighter right now. And that I'm going to get interrupted by spam phone calls and it's going to disrupt this video. So, I'm gonna start crying. I feel a pulse of anger going through me from things that I can't control. Right, I can only control myself and what I do and how I react to things. There are just so many outside forces that are pushing me, 
pushing my buttons, pushing me out of a vibration. pushing me to look at things that I've been ignoring for a really long time. <sighs> right. And this full moon's only going to accentuate that feeling. So today we're gonna do a cord cutting spread. <clears throat> I've never done before. So release the fear, just do it anyway, right? And I'm going to use my vice versa tarot deck. So it's gonna have um, two different sides on the card. So I feel like I'm kind of all over the place. I'm talking about this. I'm talking about that. I'm hearing them there. Shit's turning off. Things are interrupting me. Um, it's just the energy of the day. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay. I invite in all the good energies to guide us and help us on our path in this journey of life that we chose to be here to learn a lesson or many lessons let me be a clear and open channel for your guidance of the messages coming through Even though my selenite candle did go out, I am still protected. I still have my selenite stick <laughs> and my protection candle is still lit. So let's get into it because I'm tired of my own babbling. Okay, so this is the cord cutting tarot reading. All right, this is something I just picked up online. So somebody else created it. And it is KimberlySX.com. She created this, and this was just a random Google search, um, never used it before. So it does say here, in the end, only three things matter. How much you loved, how gently you lived, and how gracefully you let go of things not meant for you. It's a Buddhist saying, right? So we're gonna let go of some things here and we're gonna find out what those are. And um, I'm sure it's directly related to the heart chakra. All right, so um, number one is going to be the look and the feel of the cord. Okay, and these are um, two-sided. Again, two-sided. So we can see what's going on on the other side. Okay. I'm going to just set them down how they uh, come out. Two is what I gained. Okay. Three, how I helped. Four, what I lost. Five, expected change. Six, mine to keep. Seven, what I must return. And 
How do I heal? Oh, the sun. Okay. So, I don't really want to see these other cards here, so let's get that out of there. All right. So, the look and the feel of the cord. All right, we have this infinity symbol. All right, so it's ever ongoing, right? It just keeps on going. It never has an end or a beginning because it's just connected. It just keeps going. Okay, and it's just a beam of light. And it does get brighter at certain points and does have a little bit of a shadow where it crosses over, where the light is a little bit more dimmed. Okay, and um, this guy looks like a, a jester, maybe trying to make some money, right? When you go to certain places um, like a boardwalk or something. Um, they will have a lot of vendors standing out there trying to make some money, right? They're asking for some money here. And they do like a little performance for you. Um, they entertain you somehow. Okay, and this guy is next to the shore. And then on the reversal side, we actually have that rope illuminated, right? And you're standing in some sort of a town square and we have people watching you here from the balconies. Kind of reminds me of um, the Mardi Gras where people are standing on the balconies. Usually they're throwing out the beads, you know, for you to show your titties. Um, that's really what it is, but it's about entertainment and celebration, right? And I kind of feel like this is a game because we do have all of these squares on either side here. It's a little brighter here and it's a little darker over here, but it might be about you making certain choices. Okay. And it almost looks like he is holding these balconies up here with his hands, right? He's no longer just holding up this rope, just kind of out of thin air. He actually kind of looks like he's holding up these two balconies, you know, maybe supporting other people. This is about being a light for others and supporting others and lifting them up in your community, right? So this is what the, um, the cord looks and feels like, right? So it's just a beam of light and it just keeps going. All right, and then we have uh, what I gained. Okay, and we have the five of pentacles. And this person looks like they're injured and they're out in the snow outside of a church. Okay, they almost look like they have both their legs wrapped up here and he is tending to his legs. So maybe this is your, what you've gained is your ability to walk, right? Or your ability to take some time out for yourself to, to take care of yourself. 11, 11 on the clock right there. Mm 
Maybe you were, you know, just so tired of all these changes. You know, what I'm hearing is that you've gained wisdom from growing older. Like there's a lot more um, accidents that happen, you know, or injuries that happen when, as you get older, but there's also a lot of wisdom with your age. And then on the reversal side, I mean, it looks like you have like a knight dressed in very fancy clothing and has the light of the hermit here. All right, this is about like inner knowing, right? I was talking about wisdom. This could be the inner knowing. This is, um, he looks like he's in pain though, right? Like some sort of agony of the mind, something that he's thinking about. Maybe, you know, you gain too much wisdom from growing old, right? Because ignorance is bliss, right? So you've gained some knowledge here though. You've gained some wisdom. You've gained some spirituality. And it looks like you're abundant here, right? As where you looked a little homeless there. You have everything that you need and you are inside now. You're out of the snow, you're out of the cold. I'm actually going to turn these over as I go through them so we can see the other side. We have another five. Interesting. Okay, so we have the pentacles and then we have the swords here. And uh, we have another sword here. So we are balanced with those, but we only have the one cup. Interesting, we have the hermit here. So I was talking about the light of the hermit. Okay. And so we have how I helped. So maybe you helped carry the swords, right? You carried some of the load. Some of that emotional load you've been carrying around for this other person who is definitely defeated and tired and can't seem to move on, can't keep moving forward. But you have the strength to carry these swords, to carry the weight of the mind, right? And we have the weight of the mind down here. Right. And so, oh wow, there's a lot of hermit energy here, um, which I believe is Virgo. And then on the other side, we have the person getting up and walking away in this cloak, right? This is the hermit here in the cloak, which I find so interesting, right? And then we had that light walking in to the darkness now. This person is walking into the darkness, this hermit energy, right? But you help this person, you're taking this load from them so they can continue on. Okay, what I lost Mm -hmm. This is a uh, Pisces energy with the water lilies. Okay, and this is what you lost. So 
So maybe you, you lost some freedom, right? Because this is like a lot of free flowing. This is like the dove flying. This is a uh, free flowing water, which is um, free, <laughs> right? It's flowing, it's flight. Maybe you lost some of the beauty that you, you once saw. This is about new beginnings. This is a number one. Okay. Hmm, I see. So I think I feel like you've lost a love. Your knight in shining armor. The love of your life. like a lot of these water lilies are retreated except for some of the larger ones you know wishing upon a star you got the whole universe here I feel like you've lost your love, your freedom and your love from being in this mindset here, being stuck in your mind and helping others with their mind instead of dealing with your own wounds. Okay, and then this is the expected change. We have the strength card. It looks like she is um, looking at the lion's teeth, like a dentist, All right? I just came back from the dentist yesterday, you know, and your, your gum health, your teeth health uh, really affects a lot of other things in your life. You know, um, I think it, actually affects your heart. Um, I would have to look that up. But, you know, you can have many diseases if you don't take care of yourself, if you don't take care of your teeth, right? And then I see that we have this infinity symbol here, which is what your cord looks like, right? There's your cord right there. do have the sun out here we have the sun which is our last card so we'll find out more about that mm -hmm. this is your expected change you're gonna have courage you're gonna have um, maybe something better with your health, right? And so this is the devil card. And on the other side here, you have the devil looking at you as you're trying to take care of this lion, right? And you're the angel here helping this lion. The devil wants to stop you from that. There seems to be strong influences of the devil feeling, making you feel shackled, making you feel like you're not free. But you do have the choice, right? You can walk away from this. You are not shackled. You're not physically shackled. You can just walk away from this.
this could be something about your voice too, right? Or, you know, and then there's also the lion heart, right? We are talking about the heart chakra, but because she is looking into his mouth, I feel like there's something that needs to be said maybe that the devil is preventing you from saying, but you have this angel here that's helping you to open your mouth. Right, and then what's mine to keep? Your wisdom. This golden egg. Being able to make the right decision. Looks like this golden egg has a snake wrapped around it. That's trying to protect the egg. Snakes do eat eggs, so you can have to do with nourishment, right? We keep talking about nourishing your body in other ways, right? Because you, you have your feet over here that are all wrapped up and you have your dental work going on over here. And this hermit is just kind of checking it out. Doesn't really seem like he's trying to grab this egg or take it away. Just observing it for what it is. Mm hmm. This kind of reminds me of the full card. We do have a couple dogs on the reverse side here. Oh, interesting. We have the bird there as well. So we had the bird here. Mm -hmm. Right. I feel like you're thinking about somebody quite often. And they keep coming to you in, in messages and signs and dreams, right? Especially since we have the moon here, I feel like maybe your dreams are trying to tell you something. There's wisdom in that. The bird is bringing you the message. And then we have the two dogs, which is loyalty, best friend. And the egg is still there. We even look like we have a crab down here. And cancer. Okay, and the hermit, his robe is all tore up. He's got some holes in there. That's from the long journey that he has just taken to get to this golden egg to find the message. He's been through a lot of turbulence, a lot of survival. And he finally found that golden egg. Okay, that's yours to keep. Okay, and then what I must return. This looks like a the Knight of Swords, maybe. Um, what you must return. Looks like you must return like your weapon, right? So you have this kind of a sword, moon shape, half moon shape sword here that it's just kind of left behind him. And then we have uh, lightning 
on this mountainside here, and we do have quite a bit of the mountainside here. Right? The mountainside here as well, the other hermit walking away. A lot of cloaks. Something about being a superhero. Or a witch. Okay, and this is what you must return. Let's see what the other side is. This might even be the king. I don't know if this is the knight or the king. Um, this could just be the. I think this is the Knight of Swords, but I'm not really sure. This could be like leveling up, right? You have to put some things down in order to move up. And once again, we have a bird here with messages. We also have a butterfly on his shield over his heart, which is about transformation. And we have the sword again, which is the mind. We're transforming the mind. This is almost like a tower moment with the lightning. We need to leave it behind. Whatever has fallen. Whatever is not working. Whatever has no foundation. Turn the thoughts to who they really belong to, right? Because I feel like here you're suffering for someone else. But um, I feel like they don't really notice, right? Because they're just in their own pain that they don't realize that they're making you suffer. And they're dimming your light here. All right, that's your rope. That's your cord. All right, and how do I heal the sun? This is about happiness and joy. And you know, it looks like this person is in a field of sunflowers, which is new beginnings. And I feel like you just need to concentrate on yourself and the things that you love. What makes you feel good. And not be so wrapped up in everybody else's hurt or someone else's hurt. Right? <laughs> so on the other side, you are, you're trapped in this castle here. And the mountains are on the other side. And then there's a spire with the eye you need to become more spiritual. This is how you heal. Connecting with nature, connecting with animals, meditating. You got these two guys watching you. I mean, are they really protecting you though? Are they protecting you? Are they trying to keep you out of something or in something? Um, it's quite unsure, right? It's kind of a false sense of security. But she looks kind of depressed there too.
but if you can learn to look on the other side and see the sunshine and be at peace at where you are. Right, I feel like there's a lot of imprisonment here of your mind. Self-imprisonment of your mind. Um, and you need to cut that cord. Stop overthinking things. And if you want to go towards this person, that you need to make that decision to go towards that person. It's what you lost, though. It's already gone, I feel like. And now you're trapped. I want to know who this person is here. Who is this person on the horse? It seems to just be admiring you as you are standing there as a stone figure. You have no feelings anymore. You're kind of um, trapped in time, I feel like. Waiting for this person to come back. And it's causing you a lot of anguish. And it's dimming your light. And it's ongoing, it never ends. Because your cord is the infinity symbol. So who is this person? Two here. Waiter, vendor. Interesting. So we have waiter, attendant of hospitality, steward, cleaner, and vendor, which is a merchant, retailer, individual, entrepreneur. So these both basically have to do with food, right? And I was talking about nourishment and looking into the lion's mouth. Um, you have something to do with your teeth, right? With chewing, chewing on something. You know, and this reminds me of too is like it's not really that glamorous to be like a waiter or a vendor, you know, serving food. It's not always like that's not what people say that they want to do in life, right? That's not something you're necess necessarily aspiring to. It's just something that they do to make meat ends meet, uh, to pay the bills. It's a survival thing, right? But it also kind of reminds me of like serving others, helping others here. You know, maybe it's time to start actually thinking about yourself and what it is that you actually want and stop serving others. Right here we have like the knight or the king who would be serving others. You're serving others challenges, their, their mindsets. Yeah, I'm also hearing like maybe this person is waiting for you so that they can pick you, right? As a vendor, like you're setting up the things that you're trying to sell, um, usually at a festival though, you know, and here we have like the festival, right? 
almost Mardi Gras like. So, um, maybe you will see this person again at a festival. You know, once you get yourself out of your own prison here, kind of take care of yourself, brush your teeth, get out of the house, wrap your wounds, walk away, let somebody else carry the fucking weight for you. Take your dogs with you. Become free. You know, now this person can find you at this vendor station. They have been waiting for you. You are waiting on others. Okay, let me get another card. Ooh, ninja! Yeah, ninja! Oh, I'm so excited about ninja because I want to be a ninja. Master of Stealth, Shadow Walker, and Bushadu? I don't know what that means. This is like parkour, right? Jumping from roof to roof. Not a care in the world. Have that balance, right? And this is about balance down here. Your cord literally is about having balance. Being stealth. Maybe this person here is spying on you, watching you through the internet, stalking your Facebook. You know, maybe they're going to stalk you here at this festival. <laughs> they're going to kind of watch you from afar as you're waiting on others. They're in the shadows. Maybe they're going to fight for you, right? Ninja. Usually always in like some sort of a samurai sword fight. Mm -hmm. Can I get another one on this person, please? <laughs> and we have civil servant. Guardian of public goods, public official, administrative duty, public administration. This could be somebody that's very political. Somebody that's serving the community, right? We do have the servant. <laughs> Got a squirrel with something in his mouth. Hanging out out here, it's pretty funny. All right, because we do have the waiter. You know, and this could even be like somebody who is at this festival that's running the festival, right? Guardian of public good. They're here to protect you. They're trying to save you. But from afar, they're trying to give you the goods, right? Whatever it is that you need. Okay, let's see here. Um, let's ask the question. So is this person going to be stalking you at a festival? <laughs> Basically. So this is the yes or no deck. No. 
You tried catching the bird of luck by its tail. Interesting, because we have the birds, right? But you missed the best moment to do so, right? You missed it. Flew away. You're holding on to the light. You're holding on to this knowledge that the bird flew away. Still, luck always returns. Situations present other options. Happiness is only a matter of luck and timing away. Expect huge changes in your life to attract a colorful and enjoyable atmosphere. It doesn't get any luckier than that. Mr. Opportunity. The opportunity is gone. This is why you need to be cutting this cord with this person. Because it's gone. And you're dimming your own light by constantly waiting for this person to show back up. All right, and this is the uh, when and how, and you had a no. So uh, let, that, let events take their natural course. This could take as long as five to six months, requiring considerable patience. However, use your monumental leadership skills and don't be surprised by the dazzling results. There we go. So we have leadership, right? And then we also have our civil servant who is a leader. moon in Libra. Find a balance. Holy shit, dude. Right? We need to balance this out. Balancing. I mean, there's that path that you need to take there get to those mountains. Glass quarter moon in Aries. Work through your feelings. Yeah, we've been talking about feelings. With all these swords. You need to balance them out. So she's like catching a star or something. Something glowing in her hand. Thing you need to catch or throw. New moon in Gemini. Think it through. And there are those mountains. And they're balanced. They're equal. They're mirroring each other. twins. Mm -hmm. So you really need to embrace the way that you're feeling right now. There's like a lot of fear around this, right? About how it makes you feel how it makes you feel trapped. But I feel like this thinking it through is, you know, kind of counter what I'm, I'm saying here because we need to have more balance and you've already been thinking it through. This is why we have this agony here. This is why we have the devil. This is why we're frozen as a stone. This is why we feel like we're trapped in our own beautiful home. Okay, I'm gonna read that. 
new moon in Gemini, think it through. Thirty-two, five. It's about changes again. Okay, a positive outcome lies ahead. However, to take this opportunity from the ethers and make it real, you need a positive mindset. On some level, you already know how to get what you want. Use your smarts. Think it through. Look for the signpost. I've been talking about signs about what to do next. Ask. What am I expecting? Focus on positive expectations. Expectations attract. If you're having doubts, talk to someone. Make a list of your goals. There's a way through. Use your mind and your words to help others see things your way. Okay, thinking things through, making a list that reminds me of like the civil servant. You know, kind of reminds me of the waiter and the vendor too, right? Because you have your your pad that has the orders on it, right? It has a list of what people want. Make a list of what you want. What do you want to ingest? What do you want to have nurture you? Manifesting focus. The card is especially good sign for matters related to a flirtatious situation. Anything written and upset you've had or a relationship that feels blocked. All right. So that's what we're talking about is you're waiting for this person. You feel blocked. You are literally in stone. You are a block. Right, and you have the stone here too. Manifesting mindset. Expressing whatever is on your mind is always a good idea. But this card also suggests you need to do some inner work and trust your intuition. Yeah, so I was talking about speaking up, right? And the hermit is all about using your intuition, going within. doing inner work, inner healing. You know, where it's where that ninja comes in too because it's the shadow walker. You're in the shadow of this light. Manifesting tips for boosting your intuition. Call in Archangel Zadkiel, who is associated with compassion and forgiveness. Okay. And that's what we were talking about. So we're talking about compassion and forgiveness in the heart chakra. To help you clear a past hurt that could otherwise block you. <laughs> Call in the energy of the planet Mercury, which guides Gemini. And we have the twins here. That is, think it through. That is what we're reading. Close your eyes and meditate on your desire for at least five minutes. What comes up? Write it down. Okay, meditation. Uh, your affirmation. Knowledge is power. I am powerful. When to manifest your magic. The ideal time to work with your magic is when the moon is in Gemini. On a Wednesday. Mercury's day. Or during Mercury's hour. Page 16. The new moon in Gemini takes place when the sun and the moon are on the same degree in Gemini. And knows that is, it's good to talk. Okay, uh, page 16, Mercury's Hour, mm. 
You can go beyond planetary days and work with planetary hours, the system in which every moment of the day is ruled or governed by a particular planet. To work out the planetary hours for any given day, you need to calculate the length of time between sunrise and sunset. Turn that number into minutes and then divide it by 12. This is the length of each daytime planetary hour on that day. Note, there are not always 60 minute hours. To calculate nighttime planetary hours, repeat this process using the time between sunset and sunrise. The planet ruling the day of the week also rules the first hour of daylight on any given day. The planetary hours then cycle through in this cauldron order, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, the Sun, Venus, Mercury, and the Moon until the next day's sunrise. Then it all begins over again, starting with the planet that rules that day. As this is a quite complex, I've created a tutorial about using planetary hours for anyone who wants to dive deeper. You can find this at moonmessages.com slash planetary hours. There are also multiple web resources available to help you work out the planetary hours for any given day. Just search for planetary hours calculator. As I said previously, anytime a good time to start manifesting. But if a matter is really important to you, you may want to boost your magical powers by manifesting on the right day or at the right time. Interesting. Okay, and then Wednesday is associated with Mercury, which guides the signs of Gemini and Virgo. Yeah, lots of Virgo energy here. Okay, well, check that out. That seems like a, a lot. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for being here on this full moon in Scorpio. And I hope that this cord cutting tarot reading has helped you out um, and realizing what you need to cut. Okay. All right. Have a, a good day. Bye. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.